Everybody, what's going on? It's Decker Gaming here, and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today, we're doing a top five most annoying, well, not most annoying, but most overpowered submachine guns in Call of Duty history. Now, this is like stats wise, this is like how much they like get killed by, like how good they are. So, yeah, let's get into this. So, at number five is like. Probably like one of the original, well not original, but it was an overpowered submachine gun from Modern Warfare 2. And if you put a silencer on this, it's probably the most overpowered thing. This is the UMP-45. This one was like the most overpowered thing in Modern Warfare 2. You could literally like, like put a silencer and you'll get like 100 kills with this. And this thing melts. Too. It's like a melting machine. You could like kill a hundred people in one game, and it's just so good. It's like the ASM one back in the days, and we'll get to that one later. Hmm. It's just a melting machine, the most overpowered gun with the original guns. It's kind of a melt machine now in Infinite Warfare, I think. I don't really know, but it's a pretty good gun. And the UMP is like the most annoying thing from Modern Warfare 2. Well, the gun at least. And that number 4 is a uh, submachine gun that a lot of people use in Black Ops 2. Another like melting machine. A lot of these are melting machines. This is the MSMC. This gun was overpowered back in the day in Black Ops 2. And it's just overpowered. A lot of people use it. A lot of people hate it because of how good it was it literally gets you kills like that it's like a lot of prof professional like call of duty youtubers is that when i say professional i mean like competitive youtubers use it it was like the, one of the easiest guns to get like gold or diamond or whatever it's called gold or diamond it's just like the best submachine gun it's perfect overpowered it's like just too good too good is the word I'm trying to say. Now we're gonna go back in the day. Back in the day for number three. This was when the Call of Duty was actually pretty good. And this submachine gun just made it. So the MP40 was the most overpowered thing in World at War that you could use. It's so good. You get a ton of kills with it. Almost every person used it. Or you or just some other gun. But this one was like some completely different just like change call of duty and it just made it so weird because this gun like this gun like made it overpowered this gun was like another melting machine that everyone used and a lot of people actually loved this gun they brought it in back into black ops 3 it was just so good to use the HE-40 was kind of like the CUDA, which was the MP-40 of that game. And this one was like... This game just had this gun. And it was like the greatest thing they could use. And it was just so good. Now, number two is another weapon that is just a lot of professional use. The VMP, a lot of professionals like use this gun for like competitives or when they're trying to get a nuclear. And this gun was like an absolute beast. And this one, it was hard to pick because I couldn't like decide to choose this one or the Vesper, but the Vesper got a buff. But I was gonna say like the pre Vesper, but I didn't know, so I just went with the VMP. But this gun was an absolute melt machine. Everybody used it. It was like the only gun people used. It was an absolute beast. Especially if you like had stock and foregrip and all those other good attachments on it. It was just a beast gun to use. One of the most overpowered guns of all time. In Black Ops 3, the most annoying one of all time too. And finally, on number one, we all knew this was here. 
Ever since they got like that buff, it was OP to ace someone from Advanced Warfare, the most overpowered thing you could use in the game. It was like the best thing. Well, not the best thing, but the most annoying thing everyone hated. Everyone wanted to get a debuff, but this one was just too good. The ace someone was like the most overpowered thing, especially with the speakeasy, but we're looking at the base variant. But the speakeasy just made it 10 times better, more overpowered than it needed to be, along with the bow, but we're not talking about that one. But the ace someone, the most overpowered submachine gun, this is an absolute beast, absolute melt machine. It's just the most overused gun in Call of Duty history, one of them. And it was just too overpowered. Everyone wanted to get a buff, I mean a nerf. Like, when the Vesper got buffed again, they wanted it to get nerfed, and they nerfed it. Luckily, they nerfed it. It would have been, it would have been a someone too, but this one, they never nerfed it. They never nerfed it. It was just made the game unfun because everyone was using that gun or the bell. So yeah, thank you all for watching. Hope you all have enjoyed. Sorry if I sound sick. It's just catching me on. I don't know what the proper proper term is, but. Sorry if I sound sick, and let's try to hit 20 likes on this video, tell me if you guys would like me to keep that intro, the OG intro, tell me what you guys would like, and yeah guys, thank you for watching, leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later, peace out.